just on Steve, cool Steve. Um, were you surprised with that? Because I think you said all those ago it should be a formality. Well, when you read the rules and you look at um, you look at it, then yeah, and and maybe uh, yeah, yeah, maybe I shouldn't have maybe been as confident or, or sounded like as confident as what I was on Thursday, wherever we, we did the, the, the pre-match. But um, but yeah, it's happened before many occasions, so I don't know. There's a lot of things I could say, but I'm not going to. Um, but let, let's. Hopefully now we get the written reasons from the Premier League, which we're still waiting for. If it's come today, I've not seen them. And then um, we'll remind them of the rules that they wrote and hopefully we'll be okay with it. So you're still hopeful of news this week then? Fingers crossed, yeah. 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 Or hopefully we stick to the rules and we'll be okay. You've just spoken to the editor, Steve. Was he, was he pleased with the performance results? Yeah, no, gen generally, yeah. No, we discussed not just today, but some other stuff as well. So it's great that he's here. Uh, we like it when he comes, uh, obviously. I'm pleased when we get a positive result for him as well, you know. Um, so, you know, he's shown massive commitment to the club, hasn't he, for, for years and years, even before this year. So, um, so, it's, so it's good. So he deserves a positive atmosphere and result and whatever else as well. So, um, made me be a bit late for you guys. I apologise again. Saturday, you want to get home, so please don't blame me. Uh, or maybe maybe you will, but um, <laughs> I apologise for that. It's not really my way, but uh, but yeah. So um, no, we had a good discussion about a number of things, all all fairly positive, and uh, yeah, we just got to work hard now for everybody. Three of three of the January signings had a really big key role to play as well today. Mm. Now about some Wood and, and, and Philippe, mm. you've got to be pleased with that. Yeah, it's what you want. You want you want your new players to settle in and have big moments in games. Obviously, Kalo had a great mo few moments against Leeds, he did did as well today in the second half. Um, calmest guy in the dressing room, you know. And uh, um, yeah, not pleased, so, um, but that's what you want. It's good, like I said before, when new players come in, you, they want to do well because they want to show that, that they belong here and who they are. Even someone like Kalo, his age and what he's done. And, and the same with Chris Wood as well, he scored, lo you know, he scored a lot of goals in the Premier League, but he still would have wanted his first goal for Forrest to show what he's done and that's what he did and he deserves it and um, the fans are going to like Chris you know they're going to like him for what he is and it wasn't just his goal he contributed a lot in the air and set pieces and things like that and um, for me Chris really has a lot of good attributes that really typifies the mentality that we want and, and the fans really like that I've got to say I thought the fans were brilliant today as well they really saw they saw a different plan today than, than maybe what we've done before here but they really sort of showed to me a good educated sort of vision of it to go right okay I understand what's going on here we'll go with it and they were uh, they were brilliant and the second half really really got helped us get back in the game and after we scored dragged us over the line as well so um, grateful to them as well. You showed a couple of nice tunnels of pace yourself one was at the goal we'll take it you're looking at the monitor for that the head thing and the other one was at the end yeah well you score a goal and you get excited and then it's straight away knowing that what we've had with VAR this this year you think shit was there offside <laughs> you know like is that the thing so uh, I was looking looking and we couldn't quite tell and the fourth official Josh was saying it's tight I was thinking I know what's going to happen here so it was a bit of relief really when it when it went in and um, we didn't pull my calf which I normally do so yeah. <laughs> and then at the time, you went down the tunnel right away what was any reason for that? No, I didn't. I thought you did. No, I didn't. We're around the pitch. Did we play first no, that's all you did. No, we didn't win, did we? We didn't, <laughs> we didn't win. You have to, you have to win. Um, positive result, yeah, but that's all it is—a draw, you know. So my legs are stiff today. So I played paddle the other day. Okay. To be fair, so I had to be careful. You won. Yeah, no, I got beat. There you go. Who beat you? The Portuguese staff. Yeah. <laughs> it's their game, isn't it? Yeah, there you go. Right. Sorry. Safe journey. Sorry, you're late. Sorry. On the touchline over at Was that your assistance? Um, not sure. Uh, not sure. I was. I was focused on on the game. Obviously, I know we got let down by by VAR on our goal, but maybe they did a good job on that one. I hope they did. Anyway, I've not seen it, but uh, I, I don't really know to be honest. I was um, focused on focused on the pitch. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. See you now. Sorry, sorry for being late. You